it's quite an honour and pleasure to be here. I'm really excited. I think um, there was a lot of nervous energy in the room today, but I think all the presenters and everyone, all the boys that spoke, talked everyone through what um, is to come over the next eight to nine weeks. We are super excited to be the charity partner once again. And um, yeah, the way the guys just keep giving back to our charity is quite exceptional. Obviously with the Sabah Rose Button Foundation, we look after the kids doing therapy, um, equipment and care. And um, yeah, our kids are little fighters trying to fight for their rehabilitation. So I think it's a really beautiful fit that um, watching these guys start their journey as well. The Six Million Dollar Man and Cam from Link Support Solutions. What a combo. Tell me how this came about, Grant. Uh, we were having a meeting of minds uh, down the road one day and uh, Cam really enjoyed the event. He's a good mate of mine, really enjoyed the event. Thought uh, with the position he's in and the kids he works with, he could give them a, a moment in the spotlight and a rewarding moment in the sun. Uh, we just started talking and brainstorming and, and uh, one thing led to another and here we are. And there was a few, uh, it was an emotional uh, meeting, wasn't it Cam? It was, it was. I remember uh, yeah, sitting there having this conversation and we said, you know, what could we you know, do differently to support, you know, the people with disabilities in the foundation and, and, and so on. And we said, but, you know, could we could we get some of our kids out there, you know, we were talking between, you know, could they do some ring announcing or could they do this, could they do that? And we decided that, you know, teach them how to use the gloves, teach them how to use their footwork, you know, all that sort of stuff, capacity building, get their, their fitness up. And then we said, let's, let's give them the opportunity to be a champion for the day. And, uh, you know, it's just... I see the kids that we're talking to that are going to do this event and they're so excited to be able to have that opportunity to, to be around professional boxers uh, who are training them, to be around you know, people, able-bodied people who are um, definitely you know, having the challenge of their life. And it's all about inclusion and in, in, in being able to get some of these kids that will never probably get the opportunity to do something like this. So, you know, what we sat there, we did have a tear coming out of our eye. We, uh, we were laughing at each other and, and crying at the same time saying this is a great idea and we think that um, you know, the kids will love it and I think the crowd will love it as well and it'll be just so good and I think we are talking before about you know, the roar of that crowd I think when each one of those kids finishes their three minutes on those pads and they stand in their corner and lift their arms up I want everyone to just go crazy and roar for those kids because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Mate, when kids are involved it does change everything doesn't it? I know I get a bit emotional so you've got to excuse me. Glenn? Your thoughts? Oh yeah, I'm emotional. I cry at movies all the time. I uh, no, I'll be the biggest look for that. I can't wait. That I can't look, can't wait to see the, the look on their families' faces. You know, as well. That, it's gonna be a, a fun, kind, rewarding moment for them. I'm sure as well.